Where are we? F if I know, Thomas. What happened to Jake? My name's Jake, and I reckon I'm the ultimate apprentice. We're just trying to get home from the gala. What is it? I found someone. Who? Jake? Nah. Better. Teddy! Where have you been? I don't know. The last thing I remember is Jake on the stage at the gala. Tickford Racing, previously known as Ford Performance Racing, have been the factory Ford team for over a decade now and are our first four car squad for the 2023 season. 2015 Drivers' Champions with Mark Winterbottom and back-to-back -back Bathurst 1000 victories in 2013 and 14. This team has an impressive 62 race wins and a fair share of those with Frosty in his glory days against Wind Cup. The 2015 V8 Supercars Champion for Pepsi Max Crew Mark Winterbottom! Before I get into the drivers though, I want to talk about this guy, Tim Edwards, who can basically be summed up in his own words of disappointment live on Supercars television. Holy shit, this is seriously hard. Bullshit. It's absolute bullshit. Throughout the 2022 season, and even seasons prior, this guy has just been bleeding money through incidents almost every round, whether it be driver mistake, mechanical, or even the occasional teammate on team in action, this man bore the bill every damn time. It got to a point last year where every race weekend should have been Are You OK Day in the Tickford bunker because it just, it's non stop. It's been the one thorn in the team's side, and furthermore, in Tim Edwards' side personally. I'm surprised that he keeps going sometimes because it just must be so painful to see a team of young hard chargers, fast drivers, just in incidents every other week and there's nothing that you as a person can do about it. But the one thing that's not a thorn in his side is the young gun Cam Waters. Cam Waters, with 8 wins and 16 pole positions, he's bloody talented. He's finished runner-up in the championship twice and he's yet to take the big one, but it feels like he's only a good swing away from winning the Bathurst 1000 or winning his own championship trophy. On top of his freakishly fast supercar skills, this guy has a knack for anything in the dirt oval and can often be found in a sprint car in his spare time. And though his livery hasn't been revealed at this point or his sponsors, there's no way I could bet against it being a black and green monster energy livery because that combination has just been a winning combination and if you don't believe me here's some words from the man himself on the topic black <laughs> black come on of course it was going to be black mark my words this guy is shane van gisbergen's biggest competition in 2023 and he has already laid down the gauntlet. Didn't even need a wall. James Courtney is probably most well known for that weekend in Sydney where he won his Supercars Championship after a chaotic race to get out on track first against his other competitors. With 520 races to his name, he is a veteran of the sport without a shadow of a doubt and he is, I would say, in his golden years of his Supercars career. But don't let yourself be fooled into thinking that means that he is slow. Kid is, he is far from it. Um, he's just finished outside of the top 11 in last year's championship with a few podiums to his name, and he has overcome many injuries and hardship throughout his supercars career. Hell, it even includes one that took away a potential star-studded F1 career. And there's not many people who can say that Michael Schumacher came up to them as their saving angel. This guy found his feet at Tickford after abruptly getting kicked out of the team Sydney in 2020 
And whilst I don't believe that another championship is really on his radar next year, I'm excited to see him battle for potentially podiums and up through the midfield in 2023. As we all know, he is a hard and fair racer and he loves the sport, he loves the battles and I'm just excited to see him go again. Hi, I'm Thomas Randall and when you're a stallion like me driving a super stallion, you gotta smell like a stallion. So to do that, you need stallion from Trady. Thomas Randall is easy to love and at the moment of recording, the only tick for driver with the 2023 livery. He's running Castrol for this season and he's a driver that has worked hard to earn his seat. Winning the Toyota Racing Series in 2017 and Super 2 in 2020, he was forced to sit out in 2021 and has battled testicular cancer through those two years. However, much to the fans' happiness, he was signed again in 2022 and has been renewed again for this year. And I firmly believe that Randall will win a championship in his career, but to me, 2023 is about gaining experience and putting a win on the board. Get behind him, he's really good value. And finally, we come to our last driver. Say hello to Declan Fraser. <laughs> Fraser was a Triple Eight rookie and has landed a seat at Tickford after the Jake incident. And whilst he's taken advantage of the opportunity, this guy has well and truly earned it as well. Decker won the Super 2 Championship last year and has raced the mountain with Craig Lowndes, which is every kid's dream, you know? And he's got a lot of potential behind him. He'll be in the Trady Mustang next year and I'm really hoping that the pressure isn't too much for him. Much like Brock Feeney, I hope he gets that podium and gets into the groove and I just want to see him do well. He's such a likeable guy. So long as he remembers to stay. At ease, young man. Just do like Ricky Bobby, what do I do with my hands? Put him above your head. Yeah. <laughs>